Yo guys, what's going on? Robert Warshak here, and we're going to take a look at this Shaman deck that I think is one of the best after the nerfs and or buffs, uh, which has just happened. It's going to be the Boner OTK Free Shaman. Uh, this deck's insane. It has multiple win conditions, and it has a shit ton of versatility in this current meta, whether it's starting off the game strong with Wild Paul Caverns, which freezes your opponent, so it's good against any weapon based deck or any aggro deck uh, simply blooming this out on turn uh, one or two basically if you have coin uh, is game ending which you'll see in some of the games that we played uh, besides that it's got good healing because you can use the medic as a defensive tool against some of the more aggressive decks that you don't need the otk for against stuff like control warrior and the pesky ramp druid and any sort of control priest that you happen to play against uh, you do have that defiler uh, with the boner uh, here and then once you've played at least one of the circus medics in one of the dunk tank make sure they're corrupted uh, you go ahead and you play boner you go lightning bloom you play defiler and you have infinite damage uh, if you get lucky enough you can somehow auction house gravel or uh, gavel and hit defiler twice uh, which is a way where you don't need bloom but you remember you'll always need to save at least one bloom for that otk if that's going to be your win condition at that game for corrupt cards a lot of people play the um, new Defile minion. I opted to play Ogre Mancer because it's just good in general. A lot of people are running spells right now and uh, very dependent on their deck. So playing Ogre Mancer gives you 2-2 two, two taunts for every time they play a spell. So whether you're playing against like a an aggro rogue, a mage, a druid, a lot of the time, all they want to do is play spells. And if they're going to keep doing that, they're going to give you a larger and larger board, which allows you to put in chip damage, which allows you to close out games a lot sooner than you would have. We managed to push a 10 and 2 record with this deck. Our loss against the priest was avoidable. I actually just simply misplayed and didn't win. Um, so that's definitely my fault. We had the win in hand. And against this mage deck, we drew horrible. We drew every single corrupt card in the deck and no cards to corrupt them. And we were dead on like turn five against like a ping mage or something. So like there was no, there wasn't really much of a wiggle room that game but every other game felt really really good it matched up well against basically everything i wasn't upset about any matchup that we hit which proves the deck's in a pretty good spot and with that let's get into some of these games and enjoy what does play otk free shaman i need to make a video on it still so you keep moving where your face is dude He's straight up watching the game, man. <laughs> the coming storm. He is straight up just watching. He knows what's good. I'll play Diligent next turn. I mean, I guess Priest players get the worst end of the stick because they die to everything for the most part. They beat like aggro, but everything beats aggro. This is good pressure. This deck has like eight win conditions. It's fucking crazy. This is not what we stood for. The question is if we queue into other free shamans. Like, how would we hedge? You'd put, like, the Shadow Mancer in the deck? Ugh, I don't even know what you'd do to, um... Take out for him, though. This is a ton of pressure.
We may just straight up win right now. He has to probably soul mirror or something. <laughs> Hysteria doesn't really do a lot either. Okay. Okay. So he's out of range of lethal. No, he's still dead. Oh, no. He's alive. He's alive at two, baby. He actually had Soul Mirror, it just wasn't discounted. But we still have Dunk Tank, so he's dead. What a really hard game, chat. Played the green cards. Hard was green, I played it. GG Re. GG Re, dude. Yo, thanks for making it this far in the video. And if you do watch my content and enjoy it, uh, remember to sub. We have over 53% uh, percent of people who are watching this channel not subbed and just under 47% who are subbed. Uh, it really helps the channel out and shows to YouTube that people are watching and enjoying the content, which recommends more people who may be interested but not yet watching. So with that, let's get back to the games and enjoy. I got Viper. I think Viper's good. You okay, bud? Okay. You gonna take a little nappers, huh? Take a little nappers. Get you. Let's let's have you take a little nappers. <laughs> Not a bad pickup there. I need to kill this trog, man. That card's super obnoxious. I need to get this card out. This is going to give me a lot of value over the next couple turns. Uh, the McCall is going to copy the um, the weapon guy, which could be good. I'm actually going to use medics this game to heal because I don't need to win this game through um, OTK. <laughs> Unnecessary. Viper may be a good rip. We may not need that. We haven't played against any Libram Paladins, and no person, uh, like, nobody else plays weapons, so. Uh, this card for sure dies. Uh, this could draw me the other weapon, and then I trade there. Or I could just freeze this. I'm gonna have to deal with it inevitably anyway, so. Go ahead and draw the other weapon. <clears throat> yeah, you could run that one too. The OTK, the thing is, it's not... It's not that hard to implement into the deck. That's the thing. It doesn't take a lot to get it in the deck. You know what I mean? It's very, very easy to weave in. <sighs> Nature 
future waits for no one but me. I need to get some healing off Instructor Fireheart. Or I need to draw a Circus Medic. They run fucking smite, bro. Why do you play smite, bro? Oh my god, Tidal Surge. All right, pushing reverse lethal. <laughs> that title, because we would be dead to shard. Come play with me. Muzzle their magic. How much damage do we have? We have five, six. We're not quite there yet. Right? We're not there. This is 5, 8, 11, 12, 13. We're two off. And that is a void shard. So I have to find lethal here. So in order to find lethal here, there's two dunk tanks in my deck, but if I play this, they cost five. So I actually have to play the bird. That is two damage, but this is two damage too. That's game. That is unfortunately game. Fuck me, man. It was actually medic myself. This would have put me out of range of that. I didn't... Why didn't I just play Medic? It was Medic and then Windchill. I played that really bad. I shouldn't... Because you don't get the Discovery. If anything, I was supposed to go, um... Guidance. I played that bad. That game was my fault. It was, I Like, I knew exactly how much damage he had and what he had, and I had the ability to play around it, and then I opted to do literally the worst thing that I could have done. The game had given me a win, and I had selectively chosen not to take the winning line of play. Uh, this looks like a fine starting hand. I just coin him out. Oh, uh, yeah, I can still coin him out. Our paths converge. The mine. Dude, holy fuck. This ends now. The mine. Mine. Dude, that's three games in a row my opponent has opened with Trog. All right, this should we should be able to kill Trog with this right here. Like I don't think he's going to be able to kill both my 32s. No. Okay. Gotta be Stormstrike. I already have Cavern in my hand. Pantonic 
I have to try to reduce damage the best I can here, man. This is going to be tough. We actually may have to end up having to put healing in this deck. Now we keep queuing into fucking aggro decks. You know what I mean? Like, this would have been... Gr these these are great control warrior matchups, but, like, we didn't hit any of them. I honestly thought my last battle cry card was a um the ice guy. I forgot I played Fireheart. I still think that was the right play to be honest. I need to get Bloom so I can hit Brocon to get the six damage. Let me work my magic. He's just gonna overhead aim shot me or something. Quick shot. I'm not sure what this line of play is, to be honest, but... Bloom? That is not it. That is not it. If I push three, that's 13. So I actually have lethal if I push face, right? Because that's four, 12, six, six, 12. Not if he trades into that though. This needs to go face. All right, so as long as I'm, if I'm not dead right here, I win. Oh, I forgot I had this three, four. I should have traded. I forgot I was going to get another three, four. Well, no, no, no. Because he would double trade into the three, one, three, one. And then that's nine, 10, 11. And then that's 15, and he was at 16. No, no, no. What I did was right. Never mind. This should be it. Unless, even if he has aim shot, aim shot, it's not enough. So he'd need, like, aim shot, quick shot, adorable. So then that's 5, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, exactly. He would need exactly aim shot, quick shot, adorable. Also, there's the bogs that you could play in this deck, but there's only so many cards that you can, like, cut, right? After this game, we'll grab another beer. Alright, cool. We win. The only way you really win these matchups is that cavern, man. <laughs> All right. I mean, face hunter, it depends. Like, if they think they're going to counter the warlocks with the face hunter. All about the warlocks getting punished. Warlocks suck. Oh shit, warlock. <laughs> I don't even know how we disrupt. This ends now. I don't even know how we disrupt this Warlock deck. 
Like, there's nothing that I can play that's gonna be good. I have to just, like, try to OTK him, I guess, or kill him. But... They're so good, man. Um, are we medicking or are we just gonna freeze the 8-8? I think we just straight up freeze the 8-8. This could be actually pretty interesting. Because we get this with note taker. We freeze. We just keep... We get the cycle draw going. McCall can copy the freeze. We do the freeze. Draw two more cards. We really just need to find Bolinar and Lightning Bloom and then Dunk Tank. One, two, three, four, five. More bones to knock. No. We don't really care about that. Draw, draw, draw. Draw, draw, draw. We got it. We it. All right, custodian's good here. Snowfall is good. He's gonna do the four mana clear. Scavenger, Rome. Shadow Blast, the other Soul Ren, Touch, Raise Dead, no Blood, br no Bristles though. He hit my Vol'jin, my Snow, my Dunk, alright, whatever. Hit the other Dunk, not bad. Um, can use that to kill this, and then fr just freeze this. Fuck, I was supposed to custodian first. Damn it. How bad. How bad. He still has bristles, which is a lot of healing. So it's like frozen into mallet or something. We just need to corrupt the dunk and then hit the uh, two other cards in the deck. Down to bottom 12, so. Shouldn't really be that. Uh, difficult here. He's still not super close to killing me. Like, it's gonna happen soon, but it's not, like, super close. Wow, that's really crazy, dude. You here for the tour?
If only I had one more mana. Yeah, I just need to draw a lightning bloom now and I win. <coughs> I have two lightning blooms in my deck. And there's nine cards left. The chances are exceedingly high. Could I even get there if I dungeoneered? I think I could still get there if I dungeoneered, because dungeoneer will find Bloom 66% of the time. And then that would put me at 7, Bloom to 9. This costs 8? Oh no, this would cost 8, and then I'd be one short of Bolinar. Alright, so that doesn't work. That is not what I needed. So if I do this, that is not the play. So it's actually Instructor Fireheart here? This ends now. That did not discount what I wanted it to. Actually, no, I still win, right? It's just Bolinar into Rage? <laughs> Because it did, I don't need Bloom anymore. Get wrecked, kid. What great discounts. So basically this deck's undefeated. The only game I lost was a game that I... The nightmare shall end. Hi from Italy? What's good, dude? Hello back from Florida. What was the amount needed? I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda confused. Oh, did he cash in? Oh my god, I didn't even see that law firm. What the heck, dude? Oh shit, I didn't even see that, my man. Yeah, let me, um... Let me go ahead and do that for you. Congratulations. That is most exciting. When we get full VIP people, by the way, we're gonna have to make it so you, when you get the points to do VIP, you actually can kick somebody off. Because there's a point where you no longer can have more VIPs and we're getting to that per point so we'll have to increase it to like 200k and then you'll be able to remove someone from VIP and then give it to whoever you want which is kind of crazy we have a little end of the day market excitement we do. We do. I definitely don't want to return that back to his hand. Not worth freezing yet. 
do. Hmm. We have like really no good plays. Yeah, that's not really a card I play right now. You play with Merc now. Now these are That is very menacing. Don't just Yeah, that card needs to die. I have absolutely no way to make that card die. I'm just gonna have to make that card like really big like he's just gonna get big and then I'm gonna have to like shadow hunter it or something I don't know We don't run hex or devolving However, we do have a bit of freeze in our hand it last us a little bit We do have both combo pieces and defiler. Let's hope that it eats a totem and not the 3 4 again. Alright, we're getting closer. These are not. What we want. I have found what I was looking for. All right, we're out of danger. Now we need to set up dunk tanks. Um, and then we're good. Dunk tank medic, draw bloom, win game. Like the game plan of this deck is very like linear. I would love to Vol'jin this, but I feel like bad things will happen. <laughs> Nature waits for no one but me. Oh no, he could survival here. Solar Eclipse, Sonarian Ward. Ugh. Wait, pouch? I guess he's looking for survival. See if he finds it. Finds a rabbit. I feel like that's acceptable. Like, I feel like that could be a lot worse. Oh no, he got a lieutenant. I could just be dead here. <sighs> this is where I'm big dead. I needed to corrupt the cards, right? Like, I don't have a choice. Like, this is gonna happen eventually, right? This must be the way. Oh wow, it's actually not, I'm not dead. Holy mother of God. I stand a chance. 
Well, now... I don't even want a Brocon. I don't even want to do that. I just want to draw. If I hit Lightning Bloom, I win. Alright, I hit Bloom. Um... So I win next turn. Wait, I have I played a medic this game? No, I need to play medic. I lied. I need to play a medic. I play a medic and then I win. The play I made is still better though. Like this was still the play. I just play any all the minions, get them out of my hand so I can do max damage. Which is basically infinite. Ugh. So it's trade, 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 and then just do the combo. This is such an easy combo to get off, man. Like, this is not a difficult combo at all. And it's just really fucking powerful. Granted, when the rotation occurs, this deck goes away. This deck literally has no losses right now. Alright, I'll play like one more with it and then I'll stop. Is this the easiest OTK deck you can remember? No, nah, Shutter Walk Shaman was easier. Shutter Shaman was actually the most brain dead OTK because you didn't have to play anything in an order. Like, you just play the cards and you win. There was no... You didn't have to order anything. Like, it just didn't matter the order of which you played the battle cries. You just play your cards, which are already good, and then you play Shudder, and Shudder is an OTK. So you just had a 9 mana or an 8 mana OTK. One card OTK. That's all. Like, that's it. You know? It didn't require a set of cards to be played. So, like, in this deck, you don't want to, like, bloom too early, right? Because you may need it for later. You can't, like, really play these cards unless they're corrupted, right? So there's, like, certain requirements that need to be met. So you don't just, like, get to do whatever you want. <clears throat> Could you repeat that? This now but, like, the Shutter Shaman, you could play it. Like, however, there was no requirement to really anything. Prefer Vol'jin to spammy? What? I'm not sure I follow. But welcome, her uh, first time at Chatter Home Fry. What up, Necro? Good to see you, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, hey, oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Yo, first time chatter by Cheese Stick. Welcome. He's asking if you like Vol'jin better than Defile. Yes. I when I when he said spammy, it didn't realize that people actually play that new five mana spammy card. 
Spammy's okay. Defile's cool, but like, I don't know. I feel like th because everybody's playing OTK decks right now, that you get like a lot of value from, um, you get a lot of value from combo disrupt cards, which is currently, um, the Shadow Hunter. Feel me? Like Shadow Hunter and Mutanus, if you're playing against another shaman or any sort of OTK deck or combo deck, between the two of them, you can kind of basically destroy the, whatever they're trying to do. Mutanus, you can miss with Mutanus, but then like, you know, you follow it up with a Shadow Hunter. Are they you play you play like Mutanus and they think they're safe? So then they play to their quest reward is in their hand, right? And then like you shadow hunter their quest reward out. We've done that so many times against like exactly quest shaman here. So like I'll play an early mutanus, right? And then they'll be like, oh, mutanus is gone. I can complete the quest and keep it in my hand that turn because I'm not scared of it dying. But if we haven't played mutanus, they know you run mutanus. So they normally wait to play the guy to put it in your hand to play at the same turn. I'm kind of fucked here, man. <sighs> Mutanus was good there. Because it does do this, but this reduces damage by, like, large quantities. Uh, let's hope he, like, completes his quest and I can just mutanus it. Unfortunately, I did not hit, um, the cards that corrupt these. Like, I did, but, like, they were not, they were kind of awkward to play, because I drew them, like, now, as I was wind chilling, not before. So, like, while I can now corrupt these, ideally, um... You know, all the cards that corrupt your corruptibles are not bottom. He's still holding back on this quest. The good news here is I can play this card. And uh, I can hopefully board lock this guy. Because he only has two spots left. So the next turn we can just go dunk into... Okay. Pretty hit. That's kind of annoying. We don't ever need to go face. Actually, I think we just missed lethal. Double dunk. Yeah, I just missed lethal. It was it was dunk, dunk, and then just hit him in the face. Do we still have lethal, though, if I dunk face? He goes to 22. And this is 5, 5, which is 10, and then 23. That's still lethal. All right, fuck. That was really stupid. <sighs> All right, still undefeated. End of the day. End of the day, juicers. Let's go. What's up? What's up? Hive is up. Disney's up. Life Med's up. UEC is up. I wanted to pick up a little bit more Disney before it starts pumpy, 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 pumpy. I do not want Disney to go too high. I need to pick up uh, how you say it. Yeah. I need to pick up uh, more Disney shares. I need uh, how you say it. Yeah. I need uh, some more Disney shares. Disney, what are you doing? What are you doing, Disney? What are you doing? Job done. You're going up. Why are you going up? I bought it 135 today. It's 137. It's up a one and a half percent. Eh. We could me yeah, if, uh, I would be surprised. Yeah, it could hit this bounce like it did. Maybe we'll see. Don't 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 fuck me, Disney. Don't fuck me. Don't fuck. Me. Don't fuck me. 
but not fact. That was an insane draw. And that is why it was an insane draw. Wild Paul Cavern single-handedly solos aggro decks. Just saw a Victor 3 for the first time. Yeah, that's the last time you'll see a Victor 3 because you just fucking laser beamed your eyeballs out of your head. He hit you with the zappity pappity. <laughs> no more Mike. Mike goes bye-bye. <laughs> Mike goes bye bye. <laughs> Rip. Dude, why do you keep making me sign into my fucking Amazon account? I sign in every day. Just remember me, dude. What am I not memorable to you, Amazon? Oh my, is that Schmirk? Yo, what's good? Last pass? Rob, last pass? What does that mean? What do you mean last pass? What are you trying to say? You telling me I don't got any Gabagoo? What are you spitting right now? Oh, 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 got you, got you. Oh, no, so I use, um, I use a, a password, uh, rememberer and password, uh, generator. Nature waits for no the thing is, I just have to sign into it. Um, but normally Amazon just, like, saves me, like, it just has me logged in. But for recently, it's been making me log in every time, but, like, I have the auto login. Yeah, like I use RoboForm. I didn't want to say the name because I don't want to like shill them. <laughs> but they're really good. Been using them for fucking, I don't even know how many years now. Five, six, seven. I don't know any of my passwords. They're like all 18 characters, special shit. They've got numbers, words, special characters, fucking all kinds of crazy shit. They're the longest I can make them. And it just has it all stored in there. They get hacked. Well, chat. I would basically quit. Really? You know what would also be kind of juicy in this meta right now? Fucking Ogre Mancer. I think Ogre Mancer would shit, and it would be really good for Medic and Dunk Tanks. Maybe instead of Vul'jin, we play Ogre Mancer, and then we actually cut Cage Match Custodian. And I just put two Ogre Mancers. Fuck it. I'm having a problem, um, corrupting these cards, and I don't like that. I don't like sitting here waiting to corrupt my cards. Bell Pepper, with the six months of succulent subscription. To the www.warshackplays.com.net.org.edu.live.gov. Yo, thank you, Bell Pepper, for that free subscription to the channel. You just love to feel it, chat. <sighs> .gov pogs <laughs> It's always .gov pogs Wow he hit the best ones Wow he actually did hit all the best ones Congratulations I may, uh, Can I fucking corrupt my dunk tonkos No No I can't Alright I, I straight up fucking lose man
Yeah, this game. I, I, I have I had all I have all my corrupt cards in my hand and I've been unable to do anything exciting for like f three turns Yeah, this was un a very unfortunate game I don't think we could have drawn worse if I fucking spread my cheeks and lift my sack Jesus Christ What's on racks rubber band stacks? Yeah, he was chilling on my lap for like probably a good half an hour. He was fucking put his head right on the um the desk and he straight up I don't know he was straight up just watching the games. <laughs> like for those of you who are who were here earlier, I'm not lying. No, I swear to god, his head was just sitting there on the computer watching the games. He was vibing. He was straight vibing. I could have like gaveled and then went that and then still bloomed and then also played the breaker after I swung again. That might have just been better. Yeah, I should have gaveled this. I could have actually just had better plays, period. Yeah, so I could have uh, gaveled, traded, right? This goes to one. The following turn, I'm at three. I swing again with the gavel. This goes to zero, and then I can bloom um, the other card. Uh, so it's bloom it's bloom guardian after swinging face right And then that's game. Because the next turn is a dunk and then 11 11 face. Mm. This deck haps. It haps. This deck haps. Ready to party. Ready to party. Ready to party. You doing, dude? What are you doing, buddy? You taking little nappers? Yeah. Doing nappers, dog? Yeah. What you looking at, bud? Yeah. You're gonna be really mad at me later when I go on my bike ride. I'm not gonna be here with you. Oh, he's coming out. Nappers over, bud. Yeah, is your nappers over, bud? Good boy. Dog cam. Yo, Schmirk with the- Oh my god, 2,000 bits? That's huge. Dude, thank you, Schmirk. That's fucking incredible. Happy Friday, dude. Dogs in jail. I call it house. But... I used to call it, my old dog, I called it jail, but then everybody said that was mean. So I changed jail to house. I think he's going to go use his pee pads now. I can't take him out because I'm streaming. That's the one problem with stream is I can't fucking take him out when I want to. Because after they wake up from their naps, you're supposed to take them out. I, I can't just get up and go outside for 10 minutes. That's not an option. <laughs> IRL dog poop and stream. <laughs> Let's go, boys.
Oh my god, he's actually playing, um... Shank. Yeah, this dog's kind of like a banger chant. Yo, Tammy, appreciate the follow. What's good? And Schmirk with the 2,000 bits again, yo. Thank you, dog. That's, like I said, that's a lot of bits. Yo, Tammy with the prime sub! First time primer here, folks. We got a first time primer. Exclamation point. First prime. First time. First. First prime time subber. You just love to see that kind of action right there, folks. Exclamation point. First time, baby. Let's get that shit. Yo, Bell Pepper gifted a sub to Para. Let's go, dude. This is some good stuff. Oh no. He's wicked stabbing the homies. He top decked the other poison so he gets the extra attack in. Yo, what the fuck, dude? This is not good for me, dog. Figuratively and literally. Boy, yeah, being a good boy, bud. Got your got woke up from your little nappers. You want to come up here and play some Hearthstone? Yeah, you wanna play some Hearthstone, buddy. I think you do want to play some Hearthstone. I think you do. Another happy Doggo day. Cam. Yeah. We gonna play some Hearthstone, buddy? Yeah? Alright, this guy's playing this, this guy's playing the uh, weapon rogue, but we're gonna have to get him good. Yeah, that's right. Just like you lick me, we're gonna have to lick him. But in like a not good way. Yo, Dink gifted a sub to and. Yo, welcome. Thank you so much for that gifted sub. Oh shit, did we just start a hype train? Yo, you guys are you started a scam train chat? You start you started a scam train this Friday night in front of dude? Dude, don't watch. You're going to get scammed, bud. Or you're going to scam them. Yeah, scam them into buying you more treats and good foods. Yeah. You're scamming hard. Look at this. This is a scam train, bud. Welcome aboard. Yo, Bell Pepper gifted a sub to Vanka. Let's go, dude. Thank you so much. Yeah. We're probably going to lose this game. That's okay. Locomotive, locomotive, locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Schmirk with the- oh my- dude, that's so many bits, dog. Dude, 2,000 bits again? Schmirk, you're crazy. That's a lot of bits, homie. Well, unfortunately, I believe I lose, chat. I could not, um... I took Viper out. I didn't draw Ogre Mancer. Ogre Mancer also wins this matchup. I never drew the card. 
To be honest, Ogre Mancer would have been a fantastic card to draw. We got the... Oh, we got more taunts. That's pretty good. Don't lose to this loser rogue, bro. I'm trying, man. <sighs> if we would have drawn Ogre Mancer, it would have been great. But we just never drew Ogre Mancer. So my next option to win is I have to heal up and I have to devour... I either have to devour his guild trader. Or I have to heal, heal past his weapon damage. And double Garrow with guild trader. Right now, like, I am very scared of scabs, which I know he has, which he has to play here. But then I get eight to the face, but then I'm not sure how I don't lose. He wasted one Garrow earlier? Well, that's big pogs. I stand a chance, right, dude? I stand a chance, dude! Yeah, dude! We're gonna do it! Me bounce with the motherfucking vibe with it. Mm -hmm. Uh, do we have lethal by any chance here? Uh, dunk dunk is eight. A uh, eight plus six is fourteen. Fifteen sixteen. Oh baby. Oh baby. Let a motherfucker vibe with it. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we are at a level four scam train right now. We are cruising at an altitude of dank. Uh, Dinkelberg with a two more gifted subs coming out of this guy right here. Yo, seven got a sub and ball got a sub. Remember, Schmirk gift uh, uh, did 4,000 bits worth, which is fucking crazy. Bell Pepper is also gifting some subs in here as well, so... Law Boyd got a sub, Sigma got a sub, Fox on the Wall got a sub, Ark got a sub, Jason got a sub, Myth got a sub. Dude, everybody's getting a sub. Myth got a sub, Monsanto got a sub, bud. Harstoner got a sub, Green got a sub. You got something on your head. Shape of Veil got a sub. Dude, there's so many subbies. Look at them. Yeah, buddy. You know what these subs, you know what they mean? They mean you get fed. Yeah. You get to eat some bison tonight. Yeah. You get some, you get some snackers. Yeah. <laughs> subs for food, Pog. Yo, first time chatter. Yo, Ark, what's good? All right, but I'm kind of sitting a little awkward here with you in my lap, so we're going to play the um, you nap on the floor or your house game. So his house got some nappers in there. <sighs> All right, what we got going here? What we got going here? What we got going here? Dude, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Level five scam train. So this guy is playing the um This guy is playing the warrior deck that um we were playing earlier. Nature waits for no one but me. He's playing the OTK um Silas Warrior. All right, heading out. Just wanted to pop in and say, what's up? Take it easy, guys. Please also buy lots of nannies. <laughs> Yo, Necro, thanks for hanging out, dude. Have a good rest of your day, mang. Oh, shit. The nannies aren't working right now. You guys broke it from earlier. Hold on, your nannies. Hold on. Let me, let me get, let me fix the nanny. I need to activate Nani Restart System Matrix. I have to go into the mainframe. Hold on. Exclamation point mainframe.
What the hell is a nani? All right. You guys are more than welcome to uh let them know what the nani is, chat. The nani's should be available now. Nani? The nani's are live. Oh, this guy's playing the, uh, the, the rank one legend deck. Too bad that fucking Nani? thing sucks, dude. <laughs> this guy's playing Nani? that rank one legend deck that we saw. Dude, that shit is horrible. I no longer have to worry about the combo. Alright, uh, cards we need to win game, boner. We need one boner. Alright, we win. Hey, no, you do not eat the green screen. That is a very expensive green screen, dude. You do not eat green screen. I've got, I got my eyes on you. Got my eyes on you, dude. Don't you eat that green screen. I see you sniffing around that green screen. It makes me happy when people like the music that I play on stream. Because the music I like. However, Tony calls me a normie. <laughs> I feel like we have some off-meta stuff in here in regards to songs. We also have meta songs, don't get me wrong. But, like, every day we got Weeb Wednesday, we got fucking Drop the Bass Friday. Got Chill freaking Tuesdays. Yes, Quest Warlock. I haven't seen that deck before. Alright, I would like to cash this game out on a win, but this is going to be hard. I also need to take him O-U-T. He is running out of patience for me. We've been streaming for about five hours, and that's a long time to not take out a, uh, a pupper's. All I do. Yeah, he's about to go do his business on the pee pad right now, which I don't blame him. It's been a long time. However, he's been really good about it. Like, we have the pee pads or whatever, and, um, because he's still only 10 weeks. Like, he's not going to get house trained, like, immediately. It's hard to train, like, that young of a dog. And, um, he has yet to poop and or pee, like, in the house, not on a pee pad. So, like, he poops or pees on the pee pad, and you just pick it up, throw it away, and you're done. Or he, like, um, whines to go outside. Like, he's been fucking, I don't know. And then I, we did our leash for the first time yesterday. Like, we leashed him. And I took him for, like, a 20-minute walk. Bro, he literally just walked beside me the whole time. He didn't pull at all. It was crazy. I have never had a dog, like, not pull or not, like, the leash or, like, have to understand what's happening. He literally just, like, trotted right next to me. Popped into yards when he felt like he needed a good smell or something interesting in that yard, right? And then, um... You know, he would just, like, uh, keep doing whatever he's doing. Alright, uh, this is really bad for me. This is really bad for me. I do not have a good play here. My best play is to do this. One second.
Yeah, he just peed a little bit on the pad, but it's all good. That's what it's for, buddy. Yeah. Good job. <sighs> all I do is hustle. Yeah, I think I'm going to go note taker into dunk tanks. <clears throat> I think that might be a little bit more aggressive this game. Or we could just set up another cavern. That's probably not bad. This is going to go to five. That's seven. Hey, no, no. You do not chew power cables as bad. No. You chew bones. It likes this one power cable for some reason under my computer. Yeah, you get your bone. That's your bone. Your bone, bud. Not the power cables. Chew on my power cables. I'll chew on you. Yo, does this guy just, like, not understand, like... So, what is this? 7, 9, 13, and he's at 14? <sighs> really? I don't think we're dead by leaving 188 up. Solren. Ooh, both bristles. Scavenger, tour guide. The reason I went face is because we have lethal. All right, cool. Easy. So we lost one game. We climbed 2,700 ranks with this deck. Uh, and we have... We have two losses, but this priest was my fault. This priest, I had a win, and I lost, so I still count that as a win, because I literally had it. I just misplayed. Um, This mage, we drew, like, the worst possible cards we could draw. And we, we were dead on turn five. Like, I just drew no playable cards. So the two losses, one was my mistake, and the other loss was because I drew really bad.